Welcome back, my name is Benji. Today I want to welcome you to Le Samet des Dames on Pro Cycling Manager 2020. Women's cycling once again on Pro Cycling Manager because I very much enjoyed doing Omlop with this database. Now, we're going to be taking on a parkour that is not exactly like the one in real life. This one's more related to the uh, sprinters while the real one these days is a bit more cobbly. But uh, I'm afraid I don't have an actual uh, race that looks like the one in real life. So I'll have to do it with this one, which is not that big of a deal for me because I just want to play with this database and every excuse I have is good. As always, SD Works is the strongest team at the start line according to the star system of PCM. But to be honest, Lorena Weavers is all out favorite. She's got the best sprint in the world by far. 83 sprint, 81 acceleration. Nobody comes close. I think Daughter with 80 is the closest, but I'm not sure about it. In this database, honestly, maybe Hosking, 80 as well. Yeah, I think it's pretty obvious. She's the favorite by far. But we're going to try and beat her because we're going to be taking on Movistar for this one. We've got two sprinters in their midst. That is Norsgaard with 76 and 77. And then we've got Guarishi with 77 and 78. Norsgaard being the better at cobbles, but hard any cobbles. So I guess we'll see throughout the parkour who has the upper hand when it comes to daily form and so forth. And decide accordingly. I think we've got some decent riders for uh, domestic duties, but also for the lead out, so should be fine in general, but a lot of competition. Let's give it a try. Barcore wise, very simple. We've got a flat terrain throughout. We're gonna try and get in the breakaway, see where that goes, but 118 kilometers I think will be easily to control by the peloton. And afterwards, in the last few kilometers, some cobble sections, but no real serious ones, although the last one is pretty long. Ooh, not a great day for both our sprinters. Minus one on both Norsgaard and Guarishi at the start here. I'd love to get in the breakaway today, but I know that these types of women's races in PCM don't really ride the same way that men's races do. And yeah, I don't think a breakaway will really do much for us. Although I think having at least one person in it is always good to kind of neutralize it from the inside because otherwise PCM will be like, oh, you're not in it. Let's try and make it win. Anyway, let's try and give it a go with Martin here. Let's go on the right. I don't know, it's in the wheel. We're going to try and follow this attack. We've got a group that is getting away, but it seems like the peloton is chasing like mad. Nope. SD work seems to be stopping that chase, and Policini isn't following that either. So, looks like a breakaway of 15 in total. So, actually, a pretty large group. 35 seconds ahead of the peloton. In the peloton, we've got a minus one on both sprinters, which means that their sprint is not affected. Nothing really is affected too much, so no big deal. Let's try and protect them both, though, because I feel like that's going to be useful. Gonzalez is not exactly the strongest, so let's do that. Yes. Gotta watch out, because this final is not as easy as it looks, because that's not a straight-up sprint. I can promise you that. If we, based on that cobble section, we pretty much... It's pretty much suicide when it comes to energy for our riders, so that's not great. We gotta try and avoid that, and I don't know how to do that without... Yeah, I don't know how to stay at the front without pacing on that cobble section, so... I'm really curious to what my strategy is gonna be here. How much is the difference between Guarishi and Weebus? We've got 77, she's got 83, so... Six sprint stats difference, and if she's got a good day, then we're basically ruined. So, we're still gonna try it, though. Just don't know how. I need to find a way to try and kind of do something before that sprint is triggered because that way we might be able to, like, uh, put her in trouble or something. There's just not too much to work with on this parkour. We're about to move on to these first two cobble sections and a good four kilometers. I don't think they're gonna do anything, but I gotta try, you know, otherwise we can't do anything about it. Looks like Wibber's train is here. Holy crap. Okay. She's ready to battle it out, it seems. Amy Peters as well in the wheel of daughter. We've got Casper on the right, Consani right here. Yeah, I'm uh, scared of this. I genuinely am. It's about to go down. I've put Emma Nordgaard in last wheel because I feel like with these cobble sections, he might have the most red coming out of these cobble sections. How much does this do when it comes to damage to our riders? Nothing really, but it's also a tiny section. It seems like we're getting over it quite easily. We've got falls at the back though. Let's go 85. 8 kilometers. Let's try and do the impossible. Let's try and beat Lorena Wibus. 6 kilometers to go. Let's try and go 99. 19, 99? Yeah, 99. Why not? 
So I move towards the front of the group. Attacks by Duval, Marlon Reuser, and we've got Amy Peters as well trying to do the same. Let's lower it because it seems like nobody can follow the pace that I'm trying to put up. Not even my teammates. And I'm going to switch towards Yelena as we speak to try and move up on this cobble section. Is that too much? It seems like it might be. I've got red left though, so that's good. Ribbers is not exactly directly in the wheel. It's got to keep on going. We got to keep on going. Oh, the last section was hurting, but Northgard is looking pretty good. I'm pretty happy about this. Let's launch it. And Guarishi can wait a tiny bit. Let's go right now. Northgard, perfect position. Let's go. And last section, Bertizolo versus Norsgaard. Are we going to take it? Yes, we are. Wibbers finishing fourth. Can't beat us in the sprint because of the gap we made on the cobble section. Emma Sicily Norsgaard is winning. Lisa Manidam. Awesome. Oh my god, we can't even see ourselves. Now we can, under the tree. That's awesome. Anyway, Emma Norsgaard is the winner of Lisa Manidam. I think the reason we won is because we made that tiny gap on... We was on that cobble section, which means she had to put so much more energy into coming back there. And obviously, coming back on that cobble section ain't gonna be easy, knowing that we lost so much red in the final, like, 100 meters of that cobble section. So, uh, yeah, pretty proud of the victory, but I do think that PCM really can't handle cobble sections in the last 5 kilometers, as we just saw. Yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you liked this video. If you did, tap that like button. If you didn't tell me what's wrong, I'll try and make it better for you next time. I'll see you for the next one. Goodbye.